Do you ever have one of those weeks where it just feels like everything goes wrong? Nothing big or earth-shattering happens, but the little things pile up and it just starts to feel kind of defeating. To be honest with you, most of my weeks have felt like that lately. I'm trying not to dwell on what I can't control, so I won't share a list of everything that's happened, but all that to say, the season of new beginnings could not be arriving at a better time. Today, I want to bring you with me on a spring reset, refreshing my home, celebrating the start of a new chapter, practicing seasonal living, and making space for everything this season will hold. It is officially, officially spring, both on the calendar and maybe even in Ontario weather. I shared a little bit in my last video on my mental health this year. Just to kind of sum up, 2024 has been really, really hard for me. Historically speaking, spring has not actually been my favorite season of the year, but I think because the start of this year has been so tough, it feels like an incredibly hopeful, fresh start and something that's just so needed for me right now. I'm also continuing my journey of more seasonal living and really practicing aligning my own rhythms and my life with the world around me. I think this is just such a natural way to live. There is so much wisdom in nature and very much feel like I thrive when I'm connected to that and grounded in that. And so I've been really working on shifting the patterns and rhythms in my life to be more reflective of the literal season that we're in. I'm very excited to experience that and explore that with spring for the first time. I think it's gonna be just a really sweet season. So the first thing that I wanna do for my spring reset is a quick declutter. One of my favorite things to do at the start of a new season is to create a little mood board or vision board and selecting images that just really represent the things I'm looking forward to most in this season. These used to be cluttered, jam-packed images, every corner, crack, and crevice filled in with pictures of things I wanted to accomplish or purchase. I love the simplicity of this one. Each of these photos holds a lot of symbolism for me, and several of them are actually really tied in closely to the process of moving and starting over and creating home in a new space, which is something I'm really looking forward to this season. Spring capsule wardrobe is officially underway. First thing I'm doing is clearing out last season's capsule wardrobe, which honestly was kind of a fail, I'm not gonna lie to you. I have been really prioritizing my health this year and one of the things I'm focusing on specifically is intentionally working to gain weight, which means that most of the jeans I had do not fit or don't fit comfortably, so I haven't been wearing them, which has meant I needed to get a little bit creative. I'm honestly okay with that. I'm trying to just be very at peace with where I'm at and where my body is at and the fact that my capsule wardrobe this year might need to be a little bit more flexible than I would like for it to be simply because my body is changing and I'm so okay with that and I want to create space to still feel good in what I'm wearing while that happens and then I have two shirts here that I'm actually just planning on getting rid of one is this white t-shirt bodysuit, and the other is this cropped babaton long sleeve shirt. This white shirt, I just don't love the look of on me, and this babaton shirt, I just find incredibly uncomfortable. I've had these hanging up, and I've maybe worn them once. morning. Today is a cozy, rainy day, which was not what I was hoping for when I woke up this morning, but I am choosing to embrace all of the many faces and sides of spring, including those which are not particularly bright and sunny. And we're gonna make the best of it and celebrate the season anyways. This morning, I dropped off a ton of donations to the thrift store. I have had this pile in the hallway over the last few weeks that has just accumulated 
and I've been putting off taking the donations because I kept adding more and more things to the pile. Shoot, I just thought of a couple things I forgot to bring, that's okay. The thrift store I usually go to is actually very close to our house, so it is in no way a problem to make multiple trips, but I just see the pile sitting there and I'm like, oh, if I wait a couple of days, then I can take everything at once. And then before you know it, it's been three weeks and you just have a pile sitting in your floor. So learn from my mistakes, take it on day one. Tonight, my sister-in-law is coming over and we are going to try our hand at some flower arranging, which I'm so excited about. I love having fresh flowers in the house and I thought this would just be such a fun springy thing to do. I picked up some flowers from the store this morning and we'll see what we can create. I'm not sure if there is an actual definition for seasonal living, but if I were to write one, it would be the art of existing in alignment with the rhythms of the world around you. To me, spring feels like the season to plant new seeds, try new things, unearth new versions of you, and start over and over again as many times as you need. When it comes to practical ideas for seasonal living this year, I created a little bucket list for myself with some ideas of things I want to try this season. With categories like outdoors, getting fresh air daily, embracing picnic season, starting a garden and getting a bike. Indoors, I want to do spring cleaning and a good declutter, especially with our move coming up. I love having fresh flowers in the kitchen. That's something I built into our budget last year and it genuinely was so life-giving to walk out and see them every morning. I also want to swap over my capsule wardrobe, and I did have baked something new on here, but I can now check that off. When it comes to physical tasks, I really want to make sure I do more walks, and I want to try new things, especially when it comes to moving my body. I'm also continuing the practice of eating what's in season, and as much as possible, eating local produce. This is not something I'm by any means rigid about, especially as I'm on kind of a separate, adjacent health journey. More of a guiding principle I incorporate as much as I can and whenever it fits. Finally, in my mental category, I'm setting goals this season. It feels like the time of new beginnings and just a very natural opportunity to press into new things. Additionally, I want to take a class, learn a new skill. I'm probably going to make use of the masterclass subscription I got for my birthday this last year. Remember that thing I said the other day about the Ontario weather? Seems I spoke too soon. We have been having just crazy rain and wind storms today. It's definitely feeling like we are still waiting for the dawn of spring, but that is okay. April showers bring May flowers and can't wait for the blooms. I'm very excited to try this cake. It's a lemon blueberry cake. I'm not gonna lie to you. It doesn't look cute. She's not pretty, but I'm hoping it'll taste good, so we'll see how that goes. I hope that you enjoyed this little ode to spring and a welcome to the new season. I would love it if you would comment below one thing you are looking forward to this season in particular, 
and definitely make sure to click the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you have a good day because today is a good day to have a good day. And that's it. Bye.